Now we're going to read from the original of the Torah, from the verse that begins and ordains this entire day, and here is how it reads. Vayidaber Adonai El Moshe Lemor Bachodesh Hashvi'i Be'echad Lachodesh Yeye Lachem Shabbaton Zikron Torua Mikra Kodesh And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you will have a holy rest, a Sabbath, a memorial by the sounding of the shofar, a holy gathering. This day is actually called, in the Hebrew Scriptures, it's called Yom Teruah. Try it. Yom Teruah, or means literally the day of the sounding or the blowing. An entire day of sounding the shofar. Now at the end of the service, we're going to have the actual ancient sounding that has been ordained for ages. But there's no context given in this command, except for the shofar. It says, you know, that you'll sound the shofar basically the, the whole day. What does the shofar mean? What is the shofar about? This biblical instrument. When the shofar was sounded, it was sounded at the new moon, the beginning of every month, so it began the month. It was also used to announce the coming of a king or the coronation of a king. It was also used to, it, the sound of the shofar was on Mount Sinai when it says there was thunder and lightning, sound of the shofar. It's linked to the descending of God as well. It was the call when this was sounded to gather the people of God together. It's also the sound of war, an advancing army. The sound of Jericho, it wasn't just trumpets, it was the shofar by which the walls came tumbling down. The sound of the prophets, it says, set your mouth to the shofar. The sound of the prophets is linked to the sound of the shofar. Sound of judgment, sound of wake up, like, in a, like it's like God's alarm clock. And the marking and the beginning of new, a new age, closing one age, beginning another age. Now you got a whole day of nothing but the sound of the shofar. So what is it? It's a reminder to be ready. Always be prepared for what is yet to come. On the sacred calendar, this day marks the beginning of the days of awe. That means there's 10 days from the Feast of Trumpets to the central day of Scripture, the Day of Atonement, when man stands face to face with God. The day when sin is atoned for, or the day of salvation or judgment, depending on where you are. The trumpets say, get ready, get right with God. Whatever you got to do to get right with, in your life with God, do it now. Whatever you have to do, get right with God, get right with man, because the day is coming. It's kind of, the Yom Kippur is like a symbol of the day of judgment. Well, the trumpets are saying, get ready, get ready. So the day of trumpets is especially prophetic, because the trumpets speak of the king who is coming, the king who is going to come. So it speaks, it's the sound of a king being coronated. So the Bible speaks of a day when a king, the king, is coming. When he will come. The trumpets come at the end of the sacred Hebrew year, at the beginning of the last month of it, seventh month. They especially speak of the end. What happens when you open up the Bible to the end of the Bible? What do you see? You see trumpets, the trumpets of Revelation, the trumpets of, of the end times. And when the Bible speaks of the last days, it's all about trumpets. Messiah will come with the sound of the trumpet, the shofar. Messiah will come, the kingdom will come with a trumpet blast. The elect will be gathered together with the sound of the trumpet. The dead will rise, the resurrection, at the sound of the trumpet. The judgment will come, the kingdom will come. It says the great trumpet will sound, the sound of the archangel and the trump of God. It may be because God fulfilled all the first feasts, the spring feasts in his first coming, and these are linked to the second coming, it may be that he does these things or some of these things on the actual day of the Feast of Trumpets. It makes sense. It kind of, it's very consistent. It doesn't have to be, but very consistent. When the trumpet sounded, Israel, the Jewish people, gathered together. Well, it's foretold in the Bible that a great trumpet will sound like in the heavenlies and God will gather his people. Well, we're living in the day where we are seeing the gathering of Israel. 
And so this tells us we are in the time of the trumpets. And then there's the eternal realm. That's the prophetic realm, end time realm. Then there's the eternal realm of the Feast of Trumpets. And that is that no matter when the Lord comes here, there is a coming of the Lord appointed for each of us. Whenever we leave this life, you're gonna, that's going to be the day you meet the Lord. Our soul, therefore, what it's saying is, the shofar, it's a piercing sound. It's a, it's a, it's a wake-up call. So what it's saying is, like in this life, don't, don't get lost in this life. Remember, this is temporary, but you're heading for eternity. So the trumpet is calling you to get ready for eternity. Get ready. It's a wake-up call. Don't get lost in all these things that are going to pass away. Look to eternity. Every moment you have in this world is, that is temporary, yet it's precious because you don't get it again. You know, you have, you have eternity for eternity, but you only have a number of years here that counts for all eternity. So get ready. Get right with God. And so the 10 days between our, our days where we're getting right, but it's really speaking about our entire earthly life is the time to get right with God. Because the only time you can get right with God is now. The only time you can repent is now. The only time you can share the gospel is now. The only time you can, you can make things right is now. So whatever you do, do it now. Live in light of forever. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.